yesterday I took Terry, I picked her up and took her to Novacomp. Novacomp is, or it's actually called Novacomp Boo, uh, is a computer store here in Monta. It's a standalone computer store down in what I call the business district of Monta. I don't know if that's what it is really called, but it's what I call it. And uh, she wanted to buy a laptop computer, so we had to go there because I always advise against buying any kind of electronics in the mall. It's always everybody's first 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 thought when thinking about buying something like a computer or uh, a fire stick or a echo dot, you know, is to go to the mall and look. But that's not the place, that's not the way to do it. You go to the standalone stores that are down in the shopping district down around Calier 13, Avenue 13, those streets down in that district, you're going to see. I, I took, I picked up Terry here in a few minutes, you're going to watch as if we're going to be in the car, we're going to be chatting on the way, just like I've been doing my most recent videos, and we're going to go shopping for a laptop. I wanted to film every, everything inside, hold on a second, Alexa, shut up. I can't believe I had to do that. I had to yell at Alexa. It worked. So anyway, sorry about that. But anyway, I wanted to, I, 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 when we went to Novacom, I had my little GoPro, my GoPro, uh, this little guy. This is my GoPro. My Volt, this is called a Go, Volta, GoPro Volt, and it's a, little, it's a real slick little device. I don't know how well you can see it. It doesn't look like it shows up very well, you know, but it's, it is a, a, it's, it's a table mount, or it's like a tripod mount, you know, tabletop tripod mount. But anyway, I'm wasting too much time talking about this. I, mean, I wanted to record Terry shopping for a laptop and talking to the sales rep and and purchasing it, they wouldn't let me. They just flat out said, nope, can do it. So, we didn't get to film it. Here is a, the only thing I got to film, it was, the only reason why I got to do that is because I did it without their knowledge, but I did a short clip of the store from the outside on the sidewalk, you know. I don't want to get into discussion about copyright claims and all that kind of stuff and right to privacy and right to record and all this stuff while in public, blah, blah, blah. So, here's a video. We went shopping for a laptop. We, we, and I want to tell you a little bit about this experience. Maybe I'll do a separate video because things didn't really quite work out the way I had hoped in regards to this laptop. If you've ever gone to a store like Best Buy or someplace like that in the United States or up in North America and you buy a laptop, you get home, you take it out of the box, you open it up, you turn it on and it boots up Windows, okay? Unless you buy a Linux laptop, which I don't know anybody, I personally don't know anybody that does that other than me, but it, it boots up into Windows and you, you know, you let it configure it itself and then you activate it you log on to your Microsoft account, then you activate it, and you're good to go. When we bought this at Novacomp yesterday, they took the laptop out of the cabinet because we had we had to buy the last one they had in stock was on the shelf, and we had to and they turned it on, and it booted up to a DOS prompt. Now, for those of you not of my age. <laughs> that are not familiar with a DOS prompt, but basically it's a blank screen with a C prompt. That's what we got back before Microsoft Windows was here. We had a DOS prompt. That's back in the good old days. That's when computing was real computing. But anyway, I thought, where's the OS? You know, where's Windows? I expected to see Windows 10 or Windows 11 home on it. And they said we'd have to come back in an hour while they load up all the software on it. So that threw up kind of a red flag for me. I'm not sure if that's really 
Right, but anyway, we went back. We went to get some to eat, and we came back, and they it was, it was loaded up. It had Windows 11 Home on it, and of course everything was in Spanish, so we had to tell them to convert, change the system settings over, and make it all English. And we got home, got it to her place, hooked it up, got it on our network, went to activate it. If we couldn't activate it. It can't be activated. I said, well, oh, maybe we need to log into your Microsoft account. Terry had a little bit of an issue remembering her password, but we got that worked out. And when she, as of today, a day later, almost to the 24 hours later, she still has not been able to activate this laptop. So we're probably going to take it back. But anyway, I may do a follow-up video about that, and I may not. So... So here's the driving around. We, we went down to this district down there and here after uh, this little brief introduction, because I know you guys have been missing this, I'll show you the video on us driving around, driving, driving to Miss Terry. Okay, thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Hey. Oh, rocket chick. Hello there. By the way, I'm recording, so be sure and watch your language, okay? Oh, you're recording? I'm okay. recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> watch your language. Yeah. You're right. We know how you get. How long you... <laughs> <laughs> no. How long you been recording? I just, just now started. started. Okay, yeah. cool. It's, uh... I, uh... I've been doing these driving around Monta videos, you know? Mm -hmm. It seemed to be a really good hit, believe it or not. Oh, well, people like it. Uh, they do, because they like seeing what yeah. the city is like. What you know? it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, instead right of little, right. just little pockets, you want to yeah. see the whole thing. Yeah. And so, since you've already done a video, I just told everybody, I said, I, I'm going to put a link in the description back to the video that I did of the interview with you. Oh, okay. And uh, that way, because everybody knows who you are, it's not like you're a stranger on my channel. Mm hmm. And they'll, uh, who knows, you might get some more comments. All right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but I just, told us, yeah, I just told them we're going to find a laptop. We're going to Novicomp. Novicomp. And I think that's the name of it. Novicomp. Okay. It's, a, it's the only standalone computer store that I know of in Monta that's not in a mall. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. And I've bought quite a few things from them, and the price has always been right. Mm -hmm. So, okay, good. yeah, yeah, because that was really a concern of mine. I had heard so much about how expensive stuff like computers were here. They are, they, they still are. I mean, you know, it's, unless you get something that was made in China, mm -hmm. you know, and they have them, you mm -hmm. can buy a really low price, inexpensive computers here. Mm -hmm. I bought one, but I, I bought a standalone. You know that one that sits on my desk that's to the right that was standalone? Mm -hmm. The HP computer? Mm -hmm. It's gutless as can be. It's about as gutless as this car. <laughs> it's, it's got four gigs of RAM in it, and that's it. Wow. And I can upgrade it, I can put more in it, but I just, just haven't done it. You know? But you, if you price all this stuff in the mall, it's way too much. If you buy it from the United States, you're going to pay the 12.5% import fee on top of it. Yes. And the thing is, what's sad about that is that customs agents, they kind of, you can give them a receipt that shows the value of it. They're still going to charge you what they want to charge you. So, but now like the one, the laptop that I'm hoping that we can find for you. Uh, like the HP, like the one that I have, mm -hmm. my silver laptop. You can, it's the, about the same price as the one that I bought from Amazon with me paying the import fees. It's oh, about the okay. same price. So, okay. hopefully, that's what we can find. And I think that would be a good computer for you. It's got Windows 11 on it. Oh, yeah. You know, we just want to make sure it's got enough memory to handle what you need to do. Uh huh, for the pictures when we get back to that. Yeah. And then, yeah, that went the um, the office suite. I yeah. need that. I don't know if that comes automatically.
automatically or if you got a If I were you, I would just get open office. It's free. Oh, okay. It's open source. It's the competition for a Microsoft Office. Oh, is it? Yeah, I use it. I, and you can also use Google Docs. That's free. And the thing I like about Google Docs is everything you save is on the cloud. Oh, okay. You can't lose it. You know? Okay. So it has a... I need a... It has a... Word processor, yeah, word spreadsheet, process, yeah, that. presentation, word like process, a yeah for my for my um for your school for my thesis yeah yeah absolutely yeah. I use it every day okay I, I use a spreadsheet well so far that's all I use I use the Google Sheets uh -huh. and, and I, I use it for the spreadsheets I have a journal that I keep uh -huh. on it I have a I have three things. I have a document that I track all the people that I block on my channel <laughs> and why I block them in case they come back to me and want to know what the problem is. Mm -hmm. And which they never do. But and then I have one where I'm tracking the weather mm -hmm. because everybody thinks that it's sunny in Monta all year, all long, all the time. Mm -hmm. So I've got a spreadsheet that I'm going to keep track for one quarter, maybe for the whole year. But but I track whether it's clear partly cloudy cloudy rainy or dry mm -hmm. and so just that I use that and then I have uh, the, I already told you the journal yeah that's it yeah it works out great you know it doesn't cost me anything courtesy of Google All right. yeah. so I'm gonna my route that I'm taking today to get where we're going just for your benefit and for my audience also is this is Flavio Rays that we're on right here. This next next intersection here where the blue building is right there. I'm talking to my audience now. It's 24th Street. And then I'll put up a little, I'll show a Google map that points to where I'm at from point to point, time to time. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take Flavio Rays all the way down to the Malacan, so to speak. And then we just go up a little bit, turn on 13th Street, and there we are. The real challenge is going to be finding a place to park. Yeah. So that won't be a problem. Find somebody to keep an eye on the car. Mm -hmm. Pay them a couple bucks, you know. Yeah. You haven't said anything about my car. What you mean? Wow, what a nice car, Don. You know I've been in your car before. You have? No, yeah. you haven't. Yes, I have. When? When you first got it. When you first got Where it. Where did we go? In this yeah, car. Not, you know, we didn't go nowhere. You showed it to me. I showed came it to over you. to my place. Stella was with me. Uh -huh. Well, no, the first time she wasn't. Uh, um, oh, yeah? That was the time you came and took pictures of me, Stella, and Dr. Gladys. But oh, yeah. when you first got this, you came over because we had I a did. photo lesson at my house. Yeah, at my at house. Your apartment. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and, that, and, you, and you came over and I saw it then. Well. I'm 71 years old. I'm entitled to forget. That's <laughs> okay. My brain is 71 years old. I can forget. No, but again, it's a very nice car. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. So how how you like so far, driving I'm around? Liking, so far, I'm liking it. Have you ever been in this store right here? Not yet. You should check it out someday. What is it? It's a, a hardware store. Oh, okay. Better than Mega Kiwi. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They got everything in that place. Do I, I need something from the hardware store. I can't it is well, if you think about it, we can stop there on the way back. Okay, I'm going to try to remember what it is. Okay. So far, I like this car. It's got its little Chinese quirky things, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, like, having to pull... So there's no door lock on that door. Oh. You can't lock that door. It locks automatically, and the only way you can unlock it is you have to pull the handle two times. Wow. Yeah. That was a real challenge, figuring that out. Hmm. I actually took it to the dealership and had to get them to show me how to unlock the door because what was happening was I'd go let somebody out, mm -hmm. they'd pull on it and I'd say wait and I'd hit the button over here mm -hmm. and I would just be locking it. Then oh. they'd pull it again and I'd lock it. it and, still yeah, you had to pull it twice. The first time unlocks the door, the second time opens it. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, well I, I like that. I tell people you have to know Chinese to be able to mm -hmm. Get out of this car. <laughs> Need instructions. Yeah. So y'all didn't go to breakfast this morning? No. I, I ate 
at home. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of getting tired of going out to breakfast. Who are you telling? I'm tired of going out, period, spending yeah. money. It's, I'm like over that. Yeah. I mean, we live here now. It's yeah. time to act it's, like you live yeah. here, not on vacation every day with all this spending money and That's true. going out all the time. I'm really going to stop doing it. Yeah. Plus, for my health anyway, I, I got a really specific eating plan I need to be on. And yeah. I can't really achieve that in restaurants. No. You know, no. You, you don't know what they put in, how much oil, and yeah. it's too much salt sometimes. And, yeah. you know, you just need to cook your own food so you can know what's in it. And save money. Yeah. If I, if I add up how much money, I, I, I have generally been, you, you know, spending mm -hmm. to eat out, I would probably really be shocked at I spend probably 250 bucks a month eating I'm think, out. I'm thinking I'll probably spend about 200 too. I can um, cut that down to I, I know I could shave 100 off of that yeah. if I would just eat at home more often. Yeah, just... But see, the thing yeah, is too, like yeah. I go down to Dulce and Carmoso and somebody comes in and they want to sit with me and join me. Uh -huh. You know, and sometimes I just want my privacy. Yeah. You know, I just want to be alone. I just want to be... Just have my time, you know. Well, that's what you get for being a big YouTube star. It's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's no not privacy, quite sir. Quite like that. It's like, it's, yeah, it's just, but I know what you mean. Though. People are nice. I mean, I got some great subscribers, some great friends here. They just want to be, you know. They, you know, they want to buy my breakfast. Yeah. Want to buy me a beer. They want to, you know, take me to dinner, you know, or lunch. And I don't do lunch, you know. Oh, you so, don't eat lunch? I'll never eat lunch. Hardly ever, ever. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love lunch. I'm ready for it now. If I don't eat breakfast, I'll eat lunch. But if I eat breakfast, I don't eat lunch. Mm -hmm. I don't have, I just can't eat. So. I enjoy lunch. I, I like, a, it's a little place up here that we get ready to pass. Yeah. No, 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 no. Get away. <laughs> Come on, man. No, no, no. Ugh. God, man, it's like they don't get it, you know. I don't want him smearing up my window. You know, and he didn't even ask you. No, that's if if he did. If he, that's the thing, if they would just don't just come here and start squirting stuff on my car. I don't right. like that at all. I wouldn't like it either. Yeah, this place right here, I like this place, Toby. Oh yeah. It's one of the places that I come when I want to just chill, cause uh yeah uh I can just. Like you said, yeah. sometimes eat and have your privacy. Yeah. It's just, it's just like a little laid back spot. Yeah. Well, see, yeah. Cafe Verde's like that for me. Like if oh, I want to yeah. go, if I want to go and just be by myself, I can go to Cafe Verde. I can go to Cafe Verde. And they have good breakfast. They do. They have I excellent love that breakfast. breakfast. I love that <coughs> that jelly they have. Yeah. Oh, wait. And they're uh, they're affordable too. They are. And you get a lot of breakfast. Mm -hmm. I love that the duck. Hash browns? Yeah. Oh, wait. They are so they good. They got good food. They do a good mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you're thinking this is crazy, but I'm going the way I know to go, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's probably a better way to do this, but you're getting this, the tour, okay? You're getting the, we're going to see any crowd, okay? <laughs> it's all good. That church right there is where Mark's going to have his baby baptized. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you didn't hear all the music going on on the beach this weekend. I know, I heard about it. Yeah. One of my friends was like, man. She said it went to like 3 a.m. and yeah. then it started back up at 8 a.m. Yeah, they the rehearsals were Friday night and that was that went until like three o'clock in the morning. Wow. And then and then you're right, they started rehearsing again at eight in the morning, 9 30, somewhere around eight to nine, wow. something like that. And and they were loud. Oh my god, they were loud. Yeah, just booming in my window. I I could lay on my bed and feel the bass coming from that band. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. I can't hear it where I'm at at all, but I did see the fireworks. Cool. Did you see? I never yeah. even heard the fireworks. Yeah, they were beautiful. Because Saturday night I slept. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
thing I love that I can sit anywhere in my apartment pretty much and see the fireworks. Okay. I don't have to yeah. go anywhere. Mm -mm. Yeah. Poor old taxi. Just, his day's just not going to be complete if he don't get to honk at me. <laughs> Things about me about driving here: motorcycles and taxis. Yeah, like they don't have any laws. You know? Yeah, it's, it's really scary how they uh, uh, dart out in front of you. Yeah, you really gotta pay attention. Okay, so now we're. Let's see here. I may be lost. I'm thinking this should be 13th Street. It is. Okay, yeah, there's no we gone right up there, yeah. Okay, we're on, we're in the right place. Matter of fact, I think I see my parking place too. Excellent. Just because it's right here. It's all right. Yeah, we'll walk about a half a block. Let me just get a little bit closer to the curb. All right, we got your stuff, and we're out of here. That's a shame, you know. That would have been a good video. How we got I'll put a link up Spanish. to their website, you know, and just like I do have the outside video that I shot from the sidewalk, you know. Like, I think they can't do much about that. What's the name of them again? Novi. No, Novi Kampu. Novi Kampu. Novi Kampu. I don't know. Novi Kampu. I know the the back way toward your neighborhood. That's the way we're gonna go. Okay. Uh, will you be able to show me where you got those clams going? Yeah, we're gonna go right by there. Is this 15? It sure is. Tell you 15. Sunglasses on. I wish I had my sunglasses. And I'll leave you. Guess where I'm going? Home? I'm going to find me some sunglasses. Mm -hmm. I'd like to find some that are uh, prescription, you know. Or up close on the mm -hmm. bottom. I don't need anything on top. But I need it on the bottom. Yeah. Are you on the, on the beach and get some? I may. If I can find a place to park down there and get across. See those chairs up there? Uh, the other day there was a lady sitting up there. And I was so telling her, I hope she don't fall off of there. <laughs> It was kind of funny seeing her up there, yeah. One thing about driving here is, is once you learn your way around, you, you learn where to go and where not to go, you know. Now, like this street right here, this is 15, you know, Calier 15. And it goes all the way over to where we're, we're Palmetto, that street. I don't know what that street is called. Yeah, I don't either. But it chases there, you know. These lights are so well hidden. Don't yeah. let go out there. That's the kind of stuff you got to watch for. These people yeah. will just pull right out in front of you. Yeah, they it's like they dare you. You yeah. know, it's like they challenge you. Go yeah. ahead, hit me. You know. The driving is crazy. Yeah. And I've had some people tell me, "Oh, well, it's just as bad in California." Well, not BS. I don't buy that. Can, you can't compare this to the United States. There's no way. And then I understand that it's like that all, in, all over the land. Yeah. They yeah. Way. Well, they say there are places that are worse than this. <laughs> I think, oh my Lord. How can that be? But, you know, I, I'll never find out. I'm not going to. You know. <laughs> I just hope that I can get through 
the next two years without wrecking this car. Yeah. I've already been hit once, but it's just bumpy from behind. Yeah, you tell me that like the first day you got the car? Well, the first, the first week, week the, first, the following Friday. I had exactly one week. A young kid coming out of the mall bumped into me. I was stopping waiting for a traffic to come by. And he wasn't watching the me, he's watching the traffic. And he bumped into me. It scared him to death. He was so afraid that I was gonna, you know, call the police, I guess, or you know, because you don't you don't want to be in a wreck here, you know. Yeah, I know you don't. I have one advantage, I'm over sixty-five, they're not gonna lock me up in jail. They lock people up. They will. They, they, the court, if there's, if it's a, like a no fault accident, or they can't figure out whose fault it is, they take both parties to jail until they get it worked out. That's the, what I hear. But they won't put a senior citizen in jail. No, they'll put me on house arrest if, at, at, at best. You know. Yeah, the respect that they have for seniors is really. It's, yeah, it's really phenomenal. Like it. it is yeah. phenomenal. That's a better word. It's phenomenal. They have no respect for seniors in the United States. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I see that sign up there with fish on it there. Oh, that Umina. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's where I went. And it's right up the street. You see where that taxi is? Mm -hmm. It's about right in there. Mm -hmm. On that side of the street. It's a house. Mm -hmm. That's where you and, but they, it's, Marco said it's like one of the best kept secrets around here. Because it's supposed to be one of the best. They've got great ceviche, I don't doubt. But boy, don't eat the black clams. No more. No way. Well, I'm on. Uh, I guess they gonna get off still as former customers. Probably so. Because that guy Roddy, I don't know his prices are too high. Really? And I don't, and I don't uh, like any of the fish that he has. Oh. I only like certain. I yeah. like grouper and snapper. I don't like Wahoo, Dorado, all of those. What about Corvina? I like Corvina, but yeah. it's it's a thin fish. I like a yeah. thicker fish. But I do like Corvina. What about grouper? You like grouper? I love grouper. You said that, didn't grouper you? Grouper and snapper is my favorite, yeah. too. Yeah. I love That's grouper. Great. I like making it with curry mm -hmm. and rice. And, mm -hmm. oh, man. But have you got grouper from that place? No, I got it from Stella. Some, Denise gave me some grouper that she got from that guy Billy. I don't know if you know Billy, he's an Ecuadorian guy. He's uh, like a chain smoker. And no. he, um, <laughs> he, he rides people around, you know. Yeah. It wasn't grouper. I don't know what that was. It was some kind of white fish, but it was not grouper. Yeah. So I'm, I'm always on the hunt. Grouper something. is, you gotta make it with something. Yeah. You know. That's why I like, I like doing curry. Yeah, you gotta make something with it. I like making, yeah. uh, it's, it's like a brown stew fish. It's a Jamaican yeah. dish. Yeah. It's so freaking good. You like fry really? the fish first yeah. and then you stew it. And oh, it's yeah. a gravy and it has, you know, you put carrot and peppers and onions and garlic and, and, oh, so, and um, that sounds good. potatoes in there. Oh, it's so good. It's just a fish stew. You it's make that? Delicious. Yeah, I make that. I made some uh, not long ago, but I had to use snapper because I didn't have any food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fish. So that place that's right behind me called the Roja, mm -hmm. they have a sea bass dish that they make, sea bass and shrimp sauce. Mm -hmm. So, and that sea bass is like that, mm -hmm. you know. The and Roja. boy, is that, yeah, the Roja is candy corner from the Roger Hotel. It's a oh. red brick place, kind of open, you know. And I've seen that place, and I've never been. You've there. never been there? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's. Oh, you should go there sometime. Oh, it's really to. good. They yeah. got that sea bass. I need to go. They there. have good sea bass. They have good seafood. Period. They also make good uh, spaghetti, shrimp, spaghetti. Oh, I go there. Sp spaghetti with shrimp sauce. Oh my lord, is it good? They serve it with a big old fat langostino right on top of it. Yeah. And oh, they got good stuff. They also have a dish um, ravioli. They make gravy. Oh man! And I always tell them extra queso. Mm -hmm. They put about that thicker cheese on top of it. Oh my lord! Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really yeah, good I stuff. Yeah, I passed that place all the time. The name you of it. You never the Roja. The Roja. 
so yeah. D E and then Ro I Ro I Ro I R O J A. Yeah. The Ro I. Yeah, I, I remember the open thing that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. That's why I remember it. There's a little dance studio right next door to it. You know, a little discotheque dance studio. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they they got kids out there dancing, playing. Yeah, it's, there's no problem. It's no problem. You know. But the food is always very good. Always, always good. It's very reasonably priced. They also have Automoso there. I think they're a little pricey on their Automoso. Yeah, I think it's like five and a quarter or something like that. That shouldn't be that much, you know. Automoso should be three dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Two fifty, three dollars. It was two fifty in Cuenca, right across the street from where I was living. Is that the security company that's by where you live? Oh, Room check. Room check. Don't buy that guy's jacket. Oh no, this is called Moss. Oh yeah. Go back in the back? Uh -uh. Oh, you should have gone back there. I got all kinds of stuff. Really? <laughs> yeah. All kinds of stuff. Go back and look. See, your place is easy to find coming this way. Uh -huh. Coming from the other way, it's a bit of a challenge. Yeah, that's the only. Well, that's uh, not. This the sign is the only thing I go by. Yeah, because. Catamaran. Yeah. You're missing. Yeah. Uh oh. -uh. Well, now I know two ways to get over here. Yeah. But, uh, the taxis, they come up these streets. Yeah. These back ways, I do not know. Yeah. There's too many twists and turns. Yeah. But that led you out there and Bob Skill, that road out there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to, in the interest of your privacy, GoPro stop recording.